Today we built a closed stack engine. For this we need a EJ257 engine case. Some measurements instruments. This one here from Mitutoyo. I really love this brand. They work perfect. Some normal hand tools like this one here. A CNC. Some aluminium material. Nice milling cutters. A EJ257 CID model. A box of dry ice. Some hands. And a good working brain. The first step we do is to mill the inserts. It is very important that the part we want to mill is correct fixed in the CNC. For this we use a special vise. This vise can clamp this part with a lot of newton meters. Then I change the tool. I use the Rainy Shore probing head for checking the work offset. This probing system is pretty good and works fine. The Renishaw system is pretty good, it works pretty accurate and is so fast. First I check the X axis and then the Y axis. After that I check the Z axis. Then I choose the program that I write extra for this insert. At the end we do a small chamfer at the top of the insert, then it is easier to install it in the engine. It looks pretty good. The same we do with all another six inserts. Okay, that was the last one. All six inserts are now ready. Now we can start to mill the engine case. Duckshound Peanut will help us. For fixing the engine case in the CNC I built a special plate. That works very well and uh, it's an accurate system. But before we start we have to deinstall the sleeves for the bolts. The next step is to set the work offset for the engine case. Here I use the mid hole of the bolt. This one is milled and is always pretty accurate. And now we're checking the height of the deck. Now I choose the program, what I write for the contour in the engine case.
Okay, let's go. Here we use a 6 mm alu flat mill. I only remove one millimeter of the engine case. Meanwhile, we put the inserts in the dry ice box. The whole milling process needs something about five minutes. It is pretty fast because we don't have to remove a lot of the engine case. Yeah, the control is ready. Now a little bit of cleaning from the water and uh, particles. And now we can install the inserts. Oh yeah, it works perfect. It fits good. The same we're doing with the other side. It fits also perfect. Now we can milling the first two inserts because there is no place for another insert. Normally I do it with cooling but I want that to see something. So, the first insert looks perfect. Let's do the other ones. That one here stucks a little bit more, but uh, it was okay. Yes, now it is sitting correct. So now we can face mill in the deck. Looks perfect. At the next step I check if the zero point is correct. Okay, let's start the new program. This program needs something about 8 minutes and I do it in a time lapse. Now we bought a 4mm hose. This drill runs through the block so easy. At the last step we do with the 10 mm mill the big holes for the screws. I skip them a little bit. Yeah. 
Let's do the final program. The final program is a special cooling ring at the top area of the block. With this ring you have a much better cooling flow. The last step is a perfect surface of a deck. These uh, surface we do on another machine. Now I adjust the machine. And let it run. These big fly cutter make a better surface of the deck than the small one. And uh, that is it. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. The same I do now with this side here. And then we hone the cylinder and check if the main journal is straight. If you want to see another cool video where I build some engines, check out. And uh, don't even think about it to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, ciao.